Hello there, and welcome to Zerxank Plays. Playing this, Nostalrius. Let's just get straight into this. I'm playing on Zoreen, my level 23 Restoration Shaman. The last episode, I went to do my Water Totem quest, which, let me tell you, was uh, quite a ball ache. Uh, it, it, oh, what the hell? I've logged on without full health. I didn't know you could do that in... I, I guess that's just part of vanilla. You log on and you've uh, not always got full health. But yeah, the, that that quest I just did uh, to get my water totem, so I can use healing stream totem uh, and poison cleansing totem, it was really uh, really long. They're sending me back and forth between the barrens and the undead uh, areas. Like, for example, Silver Pine Forest was the main area. Now I'm back in the Barrens because I just teleported to the crossroads. Uh, and in the chat, it should, it should be visible. When I type slash played, you can see I've got now one day and 23 hours. That's almost... Almost, by the end of this episode, probably, 48, 48 hours of playtime on this character. Now, I think on the live version, 48 hours would probably be, I'd probably be maxed by now. That's leveling with heirlooms, doing dungeons, you know, uh, leveling up as a tank or a healer or just any class really where you get an instant cues in the live version retail version live version whatever you want to call it uh, I'm currently heading down here I should have flown here with the flight path in the crossroads but I'm taking the scenic route once again it's nice to it's nice to just walk so that's one of the things I miss doing uh, in the retail version the main reason I don't like it in the retail, even though you can walk everywhere, just knowing that you could get there faster, like significantly faster by flying makes you not want to, to do it. Or just, there's always a sense of urgency. I feel like there's a sense of urgency in the retail game that makes it so you can't just enjoy a leisurely walk across the map you always feel like you have to be there as soon as possible and it takes any like sense of relaxation away plus in vanilla there's plenty of stuff that you can come across that's interesting uh... in legion i guess there were some hidden treasures that were interesting but then there was always the pressure on the pressure was to that you have to find the hidden treasures so then you have to go get an add-on get your add-on to tell you where all the hidden treasures are because they can become essential in this the, the, the treasures you come across the interesting fights that you come across will uh, not not always be rewarding and they there isn't any pressure to do them you just do what you feel like doing uh, this is where I'm heading to, Camp Torajo. South of there, I'll do the quests that I have. Not, not, not Hills Red Foothills, and not the Razorfen Crawl, uh, or Silver Pine Forest, which is once again telling me to go to Hills Red Foothills. Uh, Ishama, Ishamu Hale, Ishamu Hale. And counterattack. Those are north of the crossroads. That's counterattack, and that's Ishuma Hail. So I want to be south of here, doing the egg hunt and Chen's empty keg. Those seem like reasonable quests to do. They say that when the server's populated, as heavily populated as this one is, and right now. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the day is today, but I believe that the other realm has started already. It doesn't tell you when you type slash played, that's not great. Uh, I 
I, I can't really tell. Honestly. I think that most people in this guild being offline signifies that the, the, the new server might have come out because Elysium were releasing their own server. What I'm playing on now is called is their the Elysium servers are hosting Nostalrius, the one that the the big one that caused a lot of controversy and a lot of people to get upset. Um Jews are not human, it says in the chat there. What was I saying? Yeah, this is Nostalrius, the, the one where people have all their characters hosted, Nostalrius, and then Elysium are going to be hosting their own server from scratch. So if anyone wanted to, to progress and level fr from fresh, which is always nice, it's always nice to be there from the start, you know, so you're not missing out on anything. You don't come into the game and have people be max level, max raid gear, you know, trying to find yourself a slot in a raid where there everyone else is just geared, you know, it's bad to start into that environment, so the they're gonna be starting fresh. I've mixed opinions on that because I think that starting fresh isn't necessarily that great of an idea because it means that everyone who's playing on here might just stop playing on here and start playing there or it's gonna divide the communities so then you have this issue where like population population issues where you start splitting the community up which uh, I don't think is going to it's going to work in the in the long run but we'll see I mean it might be out now so if it's if it's if it's out now and the the, the realm is this busy still then it's fine uh Obviously, I'm not in this in Orgrimmar, so I can't tell for certain. It's probably the best place that I could go to 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 find out how busy the server is. Were well, those crabs? These are fucking crabs. How lazy is that? I know this is just vanilla, but I'm killing crabs in the middle of the barrens. Those are supposed to be silithids, but they're fucking crabs. Come on, Blizzard. Vanilla is where people always talk about how passionate the developers were. Now they put all their passion into the game. That didn't look like passionate development to me. That looked like lazy development to me. Some crabs in the in the barrens. It's fine though. It makes sense. No, it doesn't really cuz they're sea-based crustaceans. I think they're crustaceans. Who cares? Someone will care. If I post a video on the internet where I have one opinion, somebody will care enough to, to disagree with me and dislike that opinion. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not caring about the uh, the classification of a type of beast. Some form of beast. Can I loot this? Why can't I... Why can't I loot it? The camera angle has to be perfect to loot that. Seems to be another aspect of uh, vanilla that isn't that great. I'm not complaining though. I'm just pointing it out. Because I, I, I do enjoy this. It's more enjoyable than the live retail version. So... Like, just killing these quest mobs is difficult enough that I have to take a break between them and Realistically, I should be having the easiest time as a as a healer. My talents aren't doing that much for me, to be honest. What reducing the mana cost of my healing spells and reducing the cast time of my healing. That's all it does. That's all that I've gained from the talent spec so far. My items are just like armor of the fang, a, a, a cloak that gives spirit and stamina, some intellect on my shoulders. The, the that staff that I've had for for so for like so many levels. What's my worst piece of gear? Probably the strength and agility gloves of the Fang, boots of the Fang. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got the seal of seal of Sylvanus. Eight stamina. That's pretty good. One stamina, three agility. Yeah, that's not great. 
Most of my gear isn't that great. Berserking. Increase your casting and attack speed by 10% to 30% of full health. It's maximum while at low health. It's effectiveness is increased to 30%. I like that. I like Berserking. I really like the the trolls uh, spells in, um, in vanilla. The, the ones that they have in the retail version are actually also pretty good. I didn't realize since they did a rework in the in the live version, they're more enjoyable. But that's something that was neglected for a very long time in the live version. Whereas uh, in vanilla, it, it always seemed like uh, fairly well thought out. I guess reasonably well thought out. I'm not sure what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm just doing like generic questing. If you if you're enjoying this generic questing, then let me know because uh, now it's getting really crowded here. This is where I wish the server was split. Except the fact that there are loads of people here makes it easier to survive. Like it's competitive to get the mobs, but it's easier to survive. So that's the trade-off, really. Like I'm not gonna get killed by anything or like swarmed by too many mobs when there are a bunch of other guys around killing the stuff that I'm trying to kill. They're taking the loot that I need but they're also making it easier to survive. Well what's happening here? Did that just spawn another one right underneath it? No the game's just bugged out for a second. It's vanilla, what can you say? It's also it's not even an official server I keep remembering that this isn't official so when I say huh there's a bug there not not an insect bug I mean like a game bug uh, it's like oh yeah obviously this isn't this isn't retail this doesn't have like this, this has a team a team that works on it but they don't get paid for it so if they're sloppy well, they're less likely to be sloppy, to be honest. The team for this, because... They, whoa, what the fuck is that? Is that... What the fuck? That's just, like, 50 mobs over there. 50, what the fuck? Would they all attack me if I went close? I'm sure they would. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to do that. See, that's something you wouldn't get in retail. That's fucking cancer. Maybe this is the best, the best of WoW. Like I, 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 I played the very ass end of vanilla, so I never got to experience like max level content in vanilla, uh, because by the time I was level forty, the Burning Crusade came out, uh, and then I was just leveling to get to the Burning Crusade, and then start doing Burning Crusade stuff. Uh, and back then I didn't really have like the, the patience to just sit and oh this guy's dying to that fucking army of grubs fuck yo that that guy's dying to like the 50 enemies that are there I could help him but I'm I'm so close to the end of this I just want to want to get my egg. Am I an asshole? Maybe. But it's a PvP game. Player versus player. He was a player and I, I contested his interests. He was on the same faction as me but hey that's it doesn't matter. The honor system in this is pretty cool. Lifetime honorable kills 4. You see that? I'm not even done PvP and I've got 4 honorable kills. I'm looking forward to going to do the uh, the the classic uh, Warsong Gulch over here. Do some Arathi Basin. In fact, I'm looking forward to the Altrek Valley, but uh, that's a long time away. Considering how I've got 48 hours on this character and I'm only level 23, that's partly down to my poor, poorly optimized routine of where I've been going and stuff, but. Uh, Still, yeah, I think I've been playing for a while now, and this this is uh, an, a, a good time to to end this episode. 
uh, been playing for 15 minutes now. I hope you've enjoyed watching and uh, let me know if you want to see more of me questing like this. If you want to see a longer videos, or shorter videos. Uh, yeah, I would like feedback on this because this is something I enjoy but I want to know how enjoyable it is to watch. Because I can maybe change the way I do it. That If I change the way I do it, it won't have any negative impact on how I play it. It'll just make it a better viewing experience. Like if you say, play it for an hour, play it for an hour and record that. That'd be just, just as easy to do because I'm probably going to keep playing this for an hour. Um, but just not recording it. But if you wanted me to record it, let me know down in the comments. Thanks. I appreciate it. Bye.